Jordan Hauser and Steve Colescott here for Lead FES. We're here with our friend Arnold at Veterans Memorial for the XBC's Day 2. This is the last time it will be held here at Veterans. And yesterday we had Dave Kirsch and Adam, Adam Driggers compete. Also friends of the team, Al Caslow and Mick Mainly had pretty good days. We're about to go inside and today we've got Clint Smith, Brian Carroll, and Chad Walker competing. I'm here with Chad Walker. We just finished up squats here at the XBC. Chad, tell us a little bit about how this morning went for you. Uh, not as planned. Missed my first attempt at 1065. Uh, weight felt good on my back. I ended up uh, losing it at top, tipping backwards. I've got no good excuse for it. Um, took my second, same weight, just to be smart and get in the meet. Uh, got it with no problem. Got a little couple tips from the guys uh, about just keeping my head up, staying tight, just normal cues that we'd give each other. And then I took 1,100, which is seven pounds under my best, just to increase my total, trying to be smart. Um, and then that one I lost in the hole, just just lost it. No real good excuse. So what's your plan going into the bench press this afternoon? Um, my opener is 750. I'm um, just going to work on getting it in. That's awesome. All right, good luck, Chad. I'm here with Brian here at the XPCs. We just finished up squatting this morning. Brian, tell us a little bit about how this morning went for you. It went terrible, actually. No, it wasn't that bad. First meet back in a year after a full seven months of rehab last year. I didn't pick up training until about September. I'm just happy to be here and be in one piece. Open up with a conservative 1070. Um, how you doing? Um, 1070, and it went pretty good. Had a couple unrack issues with the platform being a little soft. Went up to what I thought would be a conservative 1135, and I had all kinds of issues setting up. It's on me, but luckily I'm still in a good position to place in the top three. Evgeny Armbosch seemed to have uh, injured his knee. Uh, there's a Brit 242 that squatted 1,000, so I got a little bit of a cushion. The way the coefficient works is I need to be about 100 pounds above a class below me, give or take 30 pounds of body weight, and the same for someone above me. I have to be within 100, uh, 30 pounds or so. If uh, 30 pounds of body weight, 100 pounds of, uh, on the total, basically. So not too bad. So knowing where you stand with everybody else, what's your plan going into the bench this afternoon? Well, as you see, there are some casualties on the squat with people. Like I got at yesterday, people will be opening up with ridiculous amounts of weight, and they'd be going home early. And that's speaking from experience, not just saying. Um, so I'm in a good position right now. I'm, I think I'm leading going into the bench. The bench has been a strong point. So the game plan is to be conservative on the bench and then go to what I need to win on the deadlift. But... You can't win it on the bench, so you wait, do your thing, and then pull for the win at the end of the meet and, and not get ahead of yourself. Right. Good luck this afternoon, Brian. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, we're here with Clint Smith. Uh, the benches on the second day just finished up. Was not a was not a great day for you, Clint. Tell us what happened. Hmm. I wish I could tell you what happened. It was just one of those days. Um, the I had a really hard time touching my chest in the shirt today. Had a great training cycle. Touched half boards multiple times and just uh, wasn't the same today. Sometimes that happens, you know. I mean, it's frustrating, but. I can't beat myself up too bad about it and, you know, just take a break and get ready for another one. Okay. Uh, when you're out at the complex a couple of weeks ago, things were looking good. We we're expecting a good day, so it has to be a disappointment to you. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it just go reinforces what I've known and it goes to show that, you know, your training can go as smooth as possible and you might not put it together on the day of the meet. And I've had, I've had other meets where my training was crap but I performed well on the day of the meet and ended up doing fairly well. So um, you can't, it, 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 preparation is, is a lot of it, but it's not all of it. And you gotta remember that. So uh, is it safe to say that you're gonna go into the gym kind of fired up uh, to hit it at the next meet? Um, actually, you know, I think uh, I'm gonna take a break. Um, you know, always training, um, but, and then figure out what I wanna do. But um, right now I kinda gotta, bad taste in my mouth for multiply and I'm thinking I might you know do a single or a raw or something we'll see I mean nothing's in stone but um, I'm not sure okay so. thanks for talking to us okay we had to come backstage to catch Chad he had a legendary bench it took you a couple times to get it but uh, you popped up 750 it was a struggle how'd that feel uh, it sucked it's heavy I uh, missed my first two. I, my first shirt I wore, I wasn't close to touching in. Um, I guess I just wasn't broke in yet. The second shirt I actually borrowed from Josh McMillan, who drove down from Michigan, so I never even wore that one before. And it turned out working out pretty well. I just was having issues touching in it since I didn't get a chance to warm up and then it wasn't seated properly for my second attempt. I took the same weight of 750 for a third and was able to make it work. Um, I was under the bar for quite a while just due to... Oh, yeah technicalities in my form but uh, I made it work so what, what's the strategy going into the uh, pull uh, get my opener and from there just see where we're at pull big nice job Okay, we want to do a little bit of a wrap-up after the meet. First off, we want to talk to Brian about you, you chose to go with the token lift. Tell us what uh, brought that decision on. Uh, the, the back was actually feeling good after the squat. I passed my third attempt to save a little. Um, it was more of a strategy thing going into the, um, the bench and the deadlift because one of the key lifters, Evgeny Armbosch, uh, ended up hurting his knee, so he was out. Um, bench actually went really well. I benched 825, a small PR. Passed my third, again, strategy. Um, the issue was my back was a little locked up from the bench. And so instead of possibly re-injuring myself, I decided to pass. Um, I guess the, uh, the disc is a little irritated, so some nerves flared up. But uh, it, it hurt to... Uh, to try to even reach down for the bar, so I decided to go with the token. Even though the win for the overall was going to require a 700 deadlift, which is 85% uh, of my best pull ever, um, so it you know it hurts the ego a little bit. But you got to be smart as you get older, and so I, I took a token 145 and uh, wrapped it up and called her today. Okay, and you'll live to fight another day, Dave. Let's talk about the team in general. Uh, day one we had some success. Day two kind of off and on. I don't. I wouldn't say if it was really off and on. I'd say we had success on both days because there's always something to learn. As you said, you always live to fight. You know, another day. You know, me and Brian were discussing before you came over. You know, different strategies and options on how to avoid this type of thing from happening in the future. Same type of conversations are going to happen with Chad with the bench press and Clint and uh, who am I Adam forgetting? Adam eventually. You know, possibly Adam. Yeah. You know, this this is more of a time to. For when you're a lifter and you compete, you know, it's more of a time to regroup and think of what's next, you know, and start planning that direction instead of, I don't think anybody's ever content with what they do or what they didn't do. So, and that's 
it is funny when you came up when you did because that's exactly what we were talking about. Um, one thing I'd like to do before wrapping this up is bring Rhea over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> right here, right here, right here. Because what I'd like to do is to make sure, because I don't think we do this enough, that we thank you know the wives and the girlfriends of the sponsors that we do support because you guys have to put up with these guys more than what we do where they have to each other and if it wasn't for you guys they wouldn't be able to do what they do so thank you and thank, thank you. all the other girlfriends and wives of all of our sponsors thanks everybody